Okay, so this is a prodigious slider. This is the package it came in. As you can see, it's pretty big and heavy. It's uh, five kilograms package included. So let's see what's inside. So this is the, the most affordable motorized slider on the market. This is the motor controller and it has a 9 volt battery thing here. But if you don't have a 9 volt battery you can use this one to power your motor. So you plug this, not exactly sure, maybe here or here. So you power the, the motor with this, with this controller. Okay, so now I'll assemble it and uh, I'll test it. Okay, so I must admit this uh, only seems pretty intimidating, but they have these instructions on their website. So I guess this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to put all these together and have a proper slider. Let's see. Okay, so this is the final setup. This is the controller here and uh, the power source with the batteries inside. We have an on-off switch here. Okay, now it's on. So if I just turn this knob, now I have the, the controller, I have the power in the controller. This goes in and this goes out to the motor. So I just press left or right. This is moving right now, but this is the slow motor and this is the fastest it, it can go, so this means it will travel from one end to another in five minutes. So this is the fastest. Notice the crank here that is moving. So if you want to use it in manual mode, you simply take the motor out with these knobs so you don't need the, the hex keys anymore and then you can use it with the crank handle because you don't want to force the motor with the, in manual mode so you take the motor out and then you can use it manually Now you have it in manual mode. Or if you want, you can just drag it by hand. But I think I'll use the, the handle more. But what I'm really excited about is the, the motor and the, and the controller because I want to use it for time lapse. So, as I said, this, this is the most affordable motorized slider on the market today. And actually, I'm going to shoot a video for a client tomorrow, so I'm really excited to use this. So it will travel the slowest, I think, uh, two or three hours from one end to the other. 
As you can see now it's going very slow, the crank is moving though. So this is this is really good for a night time lapse or a sunset time lapse. So yeah, this is it. I hope you like it. I, ho I hope you get one. And I hope you will make cool videos with it. See you soon. Bye bye.